everyone, wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to change any of these new covers or even the original cover. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this file. So go up here to downloads, assuming of course you're in the dashboard and of programs.prettyfabulous.com and you're inside the wedding planner pop-up shop, go to downloads, go to number two, and then download whichever cover you want to change. Remember there are five different variations for the InDesign file, we're going to go ahead and change the violet one. So inside of here in the violet, you'll notice that this cover page that we're on right here, and if you don't see pages, just make sure to go to window and go down and make sure pages is selected. And then you can actually just replace this entirely with something totally different. Like let's say I only want the logo as uh, the cover, I could drop it right here on top instead. So that's now my new cover. Um, I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo that. Um, or I can delete this and I can just put my, I don't know, a new text base, my new cover right here. And it could be, I don't know, red. It could be, uh, you know, 30, whoops, 30. Uh, for this the font that's not true 30 for the font um, whatever you want to do you can make that new cover uh, but let's go ahead and assume that you kind of like the cover as is the only thing you want to change because this is the number one request I'm getting is you want to change the bride or you want to add the couple's name like Chloe and Steven or whatever it is so obviously this is not this is one big object I shouldn't say obviously but this is one big object I didn't place the bride on here um, so what you want to do is you want to find this purple sort of dot thing and that is inside of your files so that file I told you to download over here, the Violet Planner, once you download that, you're going to see three different things. You're gonna see the InDesign file, the INDD, the super old version, the .idml, and then you're also going to see a links folder. So go ahead and open that links folder. And inside of here, you're going to see, I believe it's called cover. Yeah, there it is. So you have the original cover that we see right here. And then you also have the cover without the bride or the logo. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take that so over here, we're just gonna replace it. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna drag it on top and it'll automatically replace it. If you don't want to do that, you can always do the other method where you do file place, find that file, and then just place it on here, whichever one you want to do. So let's say we wanna put a different co cover or a couple inside of here. So um, I tried to find a couple, it was not that easy. And so um, I actually did not find one um, people were asking if I had diverse couples and I could not find any um, that kind of matched the look and feel of the other ones. This one I do not own, just to be very clear. I just found this, um, whoops, I found this on uh, online. I don't own it. Um, but you could take this, uh, like same thing, you could drag it or you could do file place. And let's say we want to just place this couple over here and I can move them over here. And then I want to still use that same logo. So I have that violet logo, which you also received inside of your files. You got the blue, you got the pink, you got the purple or violet, you got copper and you got emerald. Um, so I'm gonna take that and I want to also put it over here, right back where it was. So I'm gonna just kind of drag and drop it over here and place it kind of where I want. Oops, make that bigger. there we go. And so now this is my new cover for my planner. So it's just as easy as that. Let's say you wanted instead of a couple or another picture, you wanted to put someone's name, you're just going to use the type tool. You're going to make a big text box wherever you want that name to appear. And you're going to write, what did I say? Chloe and Steven. Um, so that can appear right over here. Um, oh. I have those lines in there. It's my fault. It's this file. So you can just go to window paragraph styles um, and then just make sure because this one has lines defaulted and just go to basic paragraph and then that will get rid of those lines that are inside of there. Close. There we go. 
All right, so Chloe and Steven looks kind of boring and kind of tiny. So, you know, obviously play around with it, use whatever um, fonts you like. Uh, you could use even the ones that it came, the ones that I suggested. So let's say these are 50, maybe 120. Okay, maybe that's too big. 100, nope, still too big. 88, there we go. That's a winner. <laughs> and then let's say I want it to match the other purples. So I could just select this, go up here to the type tool and I could select that mauve color as the new color for this. Oh, that's a little too, that's a little too light. So maybe I want a darker purple, but there's not one available. So if I want to create one, I can just hit the plus sign over here, double click that uh, over here for the swatch options. And I can just make this a darker purple. Maybe that needs a little less red. Maybe it needs a little more blue. There we go. Kind of play around with it. And I'll say okay. And there we go. So now this is our new cover that has names on it. And let me just do view over from preview so you don't have to see those little boxes. Also, if the selection tool over here is highlighted and you hit the W key, it gets rid of all those lines altogether. So then you can see your new cover. So I hope that helps to give you some ideas on how to customize this cover uh, to however you want. And again, remember, you don't need this background at all. You could delete that entirely and put your own uh, background, whether that's clouds or marble or another design. All right, and remember, if you have not purchased this, the wedding planner pop-up shop is still for sale. I will leave a link to that below, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.